Hey guys, welcome to or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Angelisa and on this channel we talk about books and today I got an exciting little package that came in the mail. It was the pre-order for Wildfire by Hannah Grace. If you don't know, Hannah Grace wrote Icebreaker and this kind of went crazy on book talk and booktube um, a few months ago and I absolutely ate it up. I rated it five stars. It's one of my favorite books and it's a comfort read of mine. So... When I got this in the mail today and I realized that like I got it early again I'm just having really good luck with pre-orders but I got it early it's supposed to come out on October 6th or something like that and I got it in the mail today or yesterday and it's like September 20th or something like that so I just couldn't resist reading it and I thought I would bring you guys along with me for the journey and see how it goes. So basically this is about Russ who's a character that shows up a lot in the first book. I like vaguely remember him. I might just look up a quick synopsis to remember kind of how everything went down because it was a while ago and this girl Aurora and they have this like one night stand and then they meet again at their jobs as summer camp counselors. So it's very like steamy, spicy but also that kind of like they don't want to break the rules because they're working together and also I don't think she really wants to be involved with him whereas I remember Russ being very like goody goody and like golden retriever so that's gonna be an interesting dynamic depending on if I remembering correctly but it is du dual POV and like an end of summer vibe so yeah I'm excited oh anyway I'm excited and <laughs> how that really hurt and yeah i'm just gonna bring you guys along with me while i read so we're gonna start now because i really want to and i need something comforting right now to be honest Don't know why she got me feeling this way. She's got a way about her. She's got a way about her. Guys, I'm only 50 pages in and I already love rest and worry so much. So much. Yeah, she doesn't know. page updates obviously so i'm on page yeah 97 chapter 10 so far i'm enjoying the parts with the friends again like i loved icebreaker so much mostly because of the friend group that was in it and all like the side characters and their banter and like opinions on the main relationship so that's like coming back in this book which i'm really really enjoying and we've just gotten to the summer camp so we're starting to get like that summer vibe where they're talking about like kayaking and they just did like a little like icebreaker game or like challenge so yeah so far it's really fun but there's a lot of like tension between aurora and russ after their one night stand so we're gonna see how that plays out in this one but i'm gonna keep on reading and give you guys an update a little bit later but so far i'm really really liking it and it's definitely a like comfort read like the first one was and yeah i'm excited i want her to announce the third one because i want to know what that one's going to be called and what it's going to be about anyway i'm gonna keep reading <laughs> my emotions for they bubble over chasing four leaf clovers missing you more than I know now we used to walk along the meadow you were pretty it felt so serene and it's a few years later now but that feeling is still stuck with me the water's drawn 
frozen over by the lakeside, down by the boat house, we used to dance. And I can't help feeling scared, cause I know that we'll never get that time again. We used to drive out to the farm and play on me, cause till your hair was gray, I still pretend it feels the same. Remember, we stay up on Saturdays. There we go. Hey guys, I just wanted to give a quick update on Wildfire. I'm at, at about 200 pages. I think I'm like page 197, which is chapter 20. Hello. So far, oh my gosh, I'm really enjoying it. I love Rest and Aurora so much. They are. <laughs> it's funny. It's funny because they make fun of like the miscommunication trope a lot in this book and it kind of just it's funny it's funny to read and i love when books make fun of like things that people hate in books so yeah i thought that was pretty funny and there's a lot of good conversations just about like different familial dynamics and like parent relationships and i'm loving that to be honest because i i just enjoy when romance books have kind of like a second plot to it where i'm just adjusting where the main characters are dealing with like some personal issues or family issues that you get to go through and navigate with them so that is a lot of fun and yeah, I'm just enjoying the general banter. It's interesting, well not banter, but just like moments between the two main characters. It's interesting because it kind of feels like a slow burn, like, but right in the beginning you get a one night stand scene from them, but then a little bit later it's like 200 pages and nothing's happened between them because it's kind of like forbidden because they're at this camp and they have a no fraternization rule so yeah that part's interesting because there's kind of like a lot of tension and just cute moments between them where they share things about themselves and they're just really like getting to know each other in a way that like neither of them have ever gotten to know someone before so yeah i'm really excited to a see if they break the rules and b um just kind of like see how this plays out and what kind of like character growth happens from this because hannah grace's first one icebreaker was really fun but also like the side plots about like friendships and all that stuff um not only like the guy friend group being so cute and that being a reoccurring theme in this book but just like the entire conflict with like anastasia and her friend like that was a big part of it that made me enjoy it was like just talking about like what you do when someone who you've trusted for so long and is like your closest friend is acting suspicious so yeah anyway i'm gonna keep reading and i will update you guys a little bit later once i've read more really really enjoying it the vibes are immaculate Honestly, I can't tell if I like it better than Icebreaker or not. Like, it is so close there. Like, okay, first of all, I love Russ. I love Russ so much. He is such a cutie little patootie, like, innocent boy who just, <sighs> I don't know why he doesn't think that he's good enough for anything, but baby boy Russ, you are amazing. You deserve all the love. <laughs> I don't know why I'm looking at the book, but he is just like, oh my god, look at this man. <laughs> I don't know why I'm talking about a cartoon like this. But I love Russ and Rory so much. I think I said that earlier. 
but the things that he says oh my god okay let me just read like one thing that he said where is it <laughs> okay so basically rory's asking russ if like there's anything that he like regrets and would like change and he says no and she's like why and he says <laughs> have you heard of the butterfly effect and she goes like i'm familiar with butterflies yes what effect do they have on time machine and he goes not butterflies the butterfly effect if i change one thing in my past it'd cause a ripple effect and i wouldn't chance not meeting you bro he's just and like the praise like my praise kink is just like like he is just everything everything i can't oh my gosh and aurora is just like it's interesting because both of these characters they both like almost don't believe that they're deserving of happiness and love so it causes them to just like not kind of be as open with each other but at the same time they discuss that stuff like this is similar to icebreaker in that like there's so many healthy conversations and rather than like having a conflict they talk about it before it becomes a conflict and i feel like as a reader you get to learn so much more about conflict resolution versus just reading like these crappy no offense miscommunication tropes and just like where there's not really like a real resolution but these are just so so good and yeah i just love this so much um i forgot to mention i'm on page 283 which is chapter 29 so i have about 100 pages left so i'm gonna keep reading and i'll give you guys an update at the end but i just needed to come on and say i love this so so much and like russ is just the perfect perfect boy boyfriend <laughs> i can't the things he says and the things that he does and plans for this girl is just like <sighs> and i just love how like i love how hannah grace writes male friendships in these I don't know if they're a true depiction of male friendships, but the way that these men like support each other and just have like open conversations about relationships and sex and just their feelings is so refreshing. And I hope that men out there are getting like that kind of support that they need from their friends, the way that these friends support each other. I love the male friend group in this. Like it is amazing to read. <sighs> anyway, I'm gonna keep reading. <laughs> From far away she looks so good Grew up in the same neighborhood And that's out of rough salt in the wound Spend a few hours on the reservoir Never broke a bone so I'm gonna try hard To prove you wrong that I'm not who I used to be I'm not living at 17 Let's go! She's like a primrose You're never taking me alive So come close And I know why you said it Cause I'm reading every word in your voice because that was just too many emotions for me but I finished Wildfire and 
the epilogue. She left no crumbs. Hannah Grace left no crumbs. Oh my god. So obviously, I'm gonna rate this five stars. The only thing that I will say about this book is that sometimes it felt a little bit long, but I think it's because the two main characters have like their own conflict going on in their own personal life. So rather than having like that third act breakup that only takes up a few pages because it's between the main couple, you have two conflicts that are going on with each person that has to be solved. So I think that's why it was a little bit longer, but oh my gosh, the happy ending at the end just fed my soul and I just loved this writing and this book so, so much. Yeah. Anyway, I feel like you guys have heard my thoughts on the characters and plot throughout this whole thing, but I literally, like, I can't choose which one's better, like, Wildfire or Icebreaker. Like, they're both equally so good in every aspect, in the kind of, like, healthy relationship discussions, as well as the, like, other relationship discussions, like, familiar relationships, friendships, all that stuff. So, yeah. So good. Anyway. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed. Comment down below if you've read Icebreaker, what your thoughts were, if you're excited for this book um, when I'm posting this. I think it's the day after the release date. So yeah. Anyway, thank you guys so much and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye. And that's how you throw it